today's session we are going to understand what are the needs of 21st century what kind of jobs if you really have it you know are most demanding what kind of skill every business is looking for let's find out answers to this question if you look at all previous revolutions so what happened so what's happened was you now most of the physical labor so whatever physical work humans are actually uh, you know are enforced to do that because there are no machines but after the machine started created up to automate this physical labor human life is building around these machines now physical work given to the machine and the only thing uh, you know the kind of you know the the control of these machines human has actually taken care of it this is how for so many years now things have moved up but after computers have discovered so there there's a lot more great thing happened up one of the biggest thing is the calculations the human life as a you know as a as a race they have created up the mathematics now to really understand this quantifications now but this mathematical calculations before this machines was created up is all human mind human minds are trying to do this calculations to do this math work but once computing devices have came up now all this work have given to the computers human is now building his life around this computing machines but because of computers there's other great thing happened they make a network of you know connectivity because of connectivity of the computing machines so exchanging information from any place to any place in the world become just matter of a click before this networks are available exchanging information was a painful task a lot of time you know a lot of energy you know we had to really waste it out but now after this computers are interconnected up things have become so much simpler that's why so our human life got a lot of convenience in the life here because of this computing devices and network among those things and also because of the the electronic storage we have it up the data storage problems previously kept in a, you know books and books here now all have taken up digitized and everything now now we can able to keep up the whole history of the information in this so called electronic storage devices and everything so that's what other great thing happened because of computing machines but that's not the end of human evolution there's a big evolution now maybe people call it as a revolution is happening what is it is why can't really automate humans mind work also human mind is really having up a enormous capacity to do so many functionalities in regular life what are those functionalities if you can able take it off and use computers to automate those things now so lot of work can be passed to the machines humans can able to discover Pro solutions to problems which cannot be done by these computing machines, but but that that is what they call a big journey in a way here. But that's what the journey now we are looking for. How can you automate the human intelligence? Is the need of the what they call our and this is what people call it as a fourth industrial revolution now. If we can do that, enormous potential business, enormous work to take off laborious things from human life. Then what does humans do if all mind work is taken off? This is one of the biggest question. we'll take up we'll take up this question here in a detailed way in, in other part of this series but at a short level if all human mind task at some point is taken care by the computing machines automation is done then we can focus on our other big questions about our own existence now so why did we really come up who came who gave the life to us where are we going up what is universe is all about we can invest case much more complex problems and much more than that is a inside you can go deeper understand who we are sure there's a lot more scope a humans can spend their life here instead of focusing on these mind level tasks here but the moment the, the, the kind of work currently the machines are really doing now is very very narrow tasks now it needs a long journey to really get such kind of sophisticated automation of human mind labor sure so that's what so we want to really talk about as part of this session but in other sessions we are going to go to details about what is human mind work what kind of work this is capable we'll investigate more deeper into that